How does AI shape the future of online shopping? Today we're exploring how Bias uses AI to improve the customer experience. Today on Ecom Edge, we're taking a deeper dive into the tech behind Bias.com and how it's revolutionizing the online shopping experience. So Greg, let's talk about AI. I know you've created some videos and I, I really enjoyed watching them here on the site. How does Bias use AI? I am all in on AI. Like I, <laughs> I'm like one of those shout from the rooftop, like you don't know what's coming type thing. Um, it's funny. So there's there's AI hype and there's there's real AI and it, and we're I forget who it is, is it Gartner that has that you know peak of disillusionment and the trough of uh, of despair or whatever the the, the phrase they use is. Um, I I feel like people are kind of like oh is AI overhyped and and you know I don't really see it maybe I use it a little bit. For us, it solves the quintessential problem in e-commerce and it's a problem that I feel like most people don't they don't appreciate fully until the problem's not there anymore. And here it is. E-commerce is too complicated. It's as simple as that. It is just too complicated. And the where it is complicated is in this cobbling together of all these things. You have credit card processing and order fulfillment and customer service, and you have the website itself, and you have all the pricing and the CRM. And there's just so much involved, always involves separate platforms. And the problem is that when there's something wrong, it's not evident. You know, it's not like your website's down, but you could have the type of problem where, you know, maybe just American Express isn't working anymore. Maybe somebody in your merchant processor disabled that option. You didn't realize it. So not every order is stopped, but just American Express. And all of a sudden, two or three weeks later, you're like, why is our conversion rate down? Why do we have, you know, a little bit fewer sales? And it ends up, oh, due to the passage of time, costing you a lot of money. So for us, AI is about reducing that complexity. And what, for me, it's not that it's this super intelligent thing that you could just give it a big set of data and be like, you know, solve all my problems. It doesn't work that way. But what it can do is let you work in your own language. You can just speak to it and talk to it and ask it very vague questions. And it, if provided the right data, it can answer them which is powerful. Like I, I'm a software developer. I've never had that type of tool available. I could have things where you could search and then it would search for those words or maybe variations of those words if it was really good, but I could never give my actual question in my own words and have it look at all of my data and give an answer back. I mean, it's, there's never been a tool before LLM before that. So we're using it at the core of the platform. And what I mean by that is the types of things that we're doing in Bias, you can't just go to ChatGPT and do it, right? There are certain things you could, you know, what's a great page title for my product? Okay, you could go to ChatGPT, you could say, I sell this widget, what's a good page title for that? You could just go to ChatGPT and do it. Yes, we can add that into the platform and save you a few clicks, but again, that would just be something you could do in ChatGPT. Now, but when you give ChatGPT or when you give AI, all of the data available for the platform, everything that's ever happened on the website, every visit, every action that anybody on your team has ever performed on the website, all of the logs of every interaction, and then you start asking questions. It has this depth of data that it can analyze like that. In seconds, genuinely, in like less than 10 seconds, you come back with a full response that is, would take you hours to do. And that is powerful. So wrap that up. It is using AI, LLMs specifically right now, to reduce the complexity. That is what we care about more than anything. It all sounds so great, right? And and we all use AI, but there are some problems still, right? You know, sure. and yeah. yeah. It's funny. Even before you ask that question, I'm gonna give you, I'll give a line that I tell people all the time. It's already good enough. It's getting better every time. It is already good enough. Even if the answers aren't perfect, they are good enough. I mean, if I called tech support right now for any company, my wife's salon, I, I talked about an earlier podcast, uh, we have to set up ADP. I guarantee if I called ADP 10 times right now, I'd get three or four different answers, right? It's just how it works, right? People, people make mistakes. This system can make mistakes. You know, we're not, we're not designing pacemakers here, right? We're selling stuff online. And if you have a question about what, did I get more traffic from Meta or TikTok, TikTok, TikTok last week? Yeah, maybe it'll, it'll round it wrong, okay? But that's okay. 
that's not a big deal. You're still getting the business information that you need. It's a step in the right direction. One of your videos was about writing copy with AI. Yeah. yeah. And it was such a great example because I, I'm trying to remember what it, it was like a, a dock where you hold yep. your beer or something like that, right? Yep, exactly. And you're talking about how it holds it securely or some stupid right, thing. Like that. <laughs> right. People, if you if you use it right and you you use it, it's almost like you have to be almost childlike interacting with an LLM. You have to give it information that you, to you is obvious, but you're not you have to understand it doesn't know everything. And if you ask it, it's really good at giving you some specific answers, but you have to, you have to keep that conversation going and like drill down a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, and when you use it that way, the responses you get back are, are spectacular. So this video, as all the videos, they stay up for a long time. I have a feeling we're going to watch this in about six months. Yeah. We're going to be like, <laughs> You know, yeah. what are you talking about? This is evolving. It's infallible. So, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So, uh, with that hat in mind and with that thought in mind, I wanted to talk to you on the next episode about what you really see as the future mm. for e-commerce platforms. We, we know we've got AI and I know you're, you're a guy with your, your finger on the pulse. Yeah. So let's talk about the future of uh, e-commerce platforms in the next episode. It's Greg Stevano. He is the CEO of Biased. If you like the video, of course, give us a comment. Greg's monitoring all those likes and subscribe buttons are appreciated as well. Thanks for joining us, Greg. Thanks, Matt.